Hello again, everyone. It's nice to see you all once again here on Island Vibe Presents. I'm Davey. I'm the host of The Sandwich Show. It's another talk show here on Twitch, and we stream three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And um, uh, once each week, we feature a content creator from Twitch and for, or from somewhere else on the internet, much like Island Vibe Presents does. And during the other parts of the week, we do other things like music and and uh, food tastings and tier lists and karaoke. We It's really a a true variety stream. We do games as well. It's a, it's a fun hang. Hope you can follow us over at Davies Eating a Sandwich. And now, here is your latest sandwich corner. And I'm sorry it's so late this time around. It's been a very busy month. But I want to show you some of the great beers that are in San Diego. And for those of you who are going to TwitchCon in a, in a week or so, I mean, San Diego is the beer city. I mean, it is a great, and I mean great, with an underline beer city i i'm some of the best beers i've ever had in my life have come from this town so i'm going to show you some of my favorites from san diego and and their breweries and we're going to start over with alesmith with which might be possibly my favorite brewery in the city here's what they've got this is a nut brown english style ale it is extremely strong it's got that chocolatey coffee like texture to it a great dark sweet type flavor a really really good beer it seems to go great and not surprisingly it seems to go great when you're watching soccer but it's just great all around i mean it is such a good beer it is very strong so you have to take it you have to take it slowly i don't think you want to chug these things but what a good beer i'm a huge fan of the nut brown ale and whenever i see it up here in la being served i'm all over it it's just such a great beer but you can find it in abundance over in san diego and i do advise like going to some of these breweries and taking a tour if you have that kind of time on your hands when you're in town because ale smith and ballast point both have incredible breweries and they do a great job with tastings and um, you can also buy buy pints for a lot less than you would outside of their brewery so really would recommend really highly recommend taking a tour of their breweries so that's ale smith not brown ale Another Ale Smith classic is the Pale Ale 394. 394 named after Tony Gwynn's batting average in 1994, which was Tony Gwynn. If you're not familiar with who he is, he is one of the greatest hitters in the history of Major League Baseball. He played for the Padres for his entire career. I'm sorry to say he's no longer with us, but in 1994 he was making a run at 400, which had only been done previously by Ted Williams uh, many many years earlier. But unfortunately, 1994 was ended prematurely by a baseball player's strike. So he, Gwen never fully realized the season, which he could have hit 400. But this beer was created in cooperation with Mr. Gwen at the time, and and it is a terrific dark ale. It is like, it's like an IPA, but it's a much darker one. It's really strong. It's really good. And you'll find this all throughout the city. I think this is one of the more popular ones in town. And it just goes great with barbecue. It goes great with burgers. It just goes great with everything. It's a fantastic brew pub beer. And I'm such a huge fan of this one. And it's a very versatile beer. I really think you can you can take it anywhere. It's very hard to find this beer outside of San Diego. In LA, I don't think I've seen it served even any, anywhere. I, I mean, you've seen it. You can buy it at Bevmo, but you can't see it. You can't see it served off tap anywhere. So when you're in San Diego, this is a real treat. Really good beer. Next, we have Ballast Point, which is probably the best known brewery outside of the city. So in other words, if you live outside of San Diego, you're very likely to run into a Ballast Point, um, Ballast Point beer. And uh, this is their most popular brew, the Grapefruit Sculpin, a really good IPA. And Ballast Point is particularly known for having citrus-infused beers. So they have grapefruit, they have lemon, and they can even do other types of fruit like watermelon and, and so on. It's just an incredible brewery. And if you're really into the fruit, the fruit-infused tinge, if you're into the if you're into that kind of IPAs, if you like Sculpins, this is the place to go. It's really, really good. And they ha the Bell's Point, by the way, has a has a satellite brew pub in in Little Italy, which is a little north of, of downtown in San Diego. And that neighborhood is awesome. And uh, it's a really good place to try beer if you're a fan of that type of beer. So that's Bell's Point. The last of the four that I'd like to recommend to you is Carl Strauss. 
who has the red trolley ale and and look how rich this red ale is this is an incredible beer now you might think that red trolley means san francisco but no it's actually san diego because they have a trolley system in san diego as well and carl strauss is is also based around the san diego area just a great beer it's just so rich and so flavorful it's just got the perfect tinge of i mean you can have red trolley ales that don't quite satisfy this one it really does it's just it's very rich and so so bold and so full it's a great ale big fan of the red trolley ale in from carl strauss now let's go look at places where we can go where we can drink these drink these fine beers there are three brew pubs i would recommend in the gas lamp quarter and uh, this is one of them. This is called Nascent's Beer Hall. I can see it's there's not a whole lot to it, but it, I, but you can see the bar is really nicely situated, and you can see there are screens. You can watch sports. Um, the reason I, I picked this one is because it just looks like a great hang. Like I, the setting is visually very appealing. You can see the brick walls. You can see the rectangular bar. As long as it's not too packed, it seems like a really nice spot to to be. And particular, and uh, it's a very interesting hang, very neat. You can see it's very. I mean, there's this is obviously a professional photo, but it looks really good. And if you take a look at that BLT on the left hand side, it looks like that they got something going on with the fr with the food as well. That's Nason's. Next, we look at Mash It. I'm not really familiar with them to be honest with you, but the layout of the bar does look really solid. You can see they have a lot of beers on tap. And uh, it looks like there's plenty of space for a lot of people there. So that seems like it seems like they'll have a lot of beers on tap. That's a good thing. But my personal favorite place to go in the Gaslamp Quarter is Bubs by the Ballpark. It's down the street from Petco Park where they put, where the Padres play baseball. And it is popping all the time. It's very busy. My two favorite things here, obviously the beer. That, that, that goes without saying. You can see they have a thousand beers on tap. You can see them right there in the photo. But... If you look on the left-hand side of the photo, they have these amazing grilled wings. So a lot of wing places fry their wings. These guys do it with a wood-infused grill, and they are fantastic. You can choose from any of dozens of flavors, and you know, from Korean-style barbecue sauce to buffalo and everything in between really amazing the types of flavors you can have you can even have them plain i bet you they still would taste good and the popular thing to do at bubs is order some tater tots with with your wings just just fantastic wings it's just i live for these wings whenever i'm in town like i like to go to either this bubs or the ones at pacific beach by by which is called bubs by the beach but this is bubs by the ballpark which is closer to the convention center where Many of you could be hanging for TwitchCon coming up in a few days. So that's that's a summary of not only the beers to look for in San Diego, but also the brew pubs to look for in San Diego. I think it's a if you're heading down that way, you're in for a really fun time. You're going to meet a lot of great people, a lot of cool people who stream on Twitch. And you might even meet me because I'll be down there, too. It'll be really fun. But uh, if you want any more advice as far as uh, what to do with as far as to do with food or drink or any other activities in, this, in the town of San Diego, please reach me on Instagram. I also am at Davies Eating a Sandwich there. I'd be glad to help you out. But um, that's what's what you're looking forward to in a few days. And if you can't make it for TwitchCon, come down to San Diego some other time. I think all these cool things will still be there for you. It's a really cool hang. That's it from here. And um, feel free to to uh, ruminate over all these beers and foods, and we'll give it back to you here at Island Vibing Presents.